of the list of options here and we'll go through each of these in different sections uh, for today I want you to look at the hue slash saturation click on that you get a box appears now we'll do this in a lot bigger detail for now um, think of hue as the color saturation is how much of the color is soaked into your image so just think of it in terms of water if a, if a cloth is totally saturated it's absolutely soaking if it's unsaturated then it's dry and then lightness is just black or white okay so light or dark um, so if you slide that slider you'll notice it's messing around the hues okay so down the very bottom of this box you have all the colors in your scene so there's your greens there's your yellows there's your reds as I slide this box at the bottom you notice it slides another one across so that means you're you're messing around with the colors you're telling now the stuff that's green that is going to be red the stuff that red it's going to be purples um, but we don't want to do that we want to tick this little box down here which is colorize okay and now we can flood the whole image with whatever color we want okay so if you go over to I'm going to go for around a blue hue so around 207 here and you notice now we can control totally saturated means it's flooded with color down the very bottom means it's totally black white okay I remember these sliders aren't set in stone you can tweak these as much as you want so I'm going to go with about that okay so I've gone with 207 45 now the light and darkness one isn't very good uh, because it's you don't have a lot of control over it okay so we're going to leave that at zero whenever you're happy with it just hit okay um, so what I want you to do now is we're going to make another quick change it go to image adjustments we're going to use a thing called levels I click on this so the way the levels works is um, you get you give them three little kind of arrows here okay uh, one is your dark which controls all the blacks you've seen one's greys and then one's the whites okay so you notice when I slide these uh, it has different effects what I want to do is I want to darken down this scene a bit okay so I'm just going to grab this little middle one slide it a tiny bit over to the right okay just makes it a bit kind of creepier looking so there's a before there's after it's a tiny change uh, but it's just it's bringing out a bit more dark in it whenever you finish that just hit okay so we'll do those other we'll do those two tools like in loads of detail um so for now if you just want to follow what i'm doing uh, i mean feel free you can you can muck about with them you can experiment with them as much as you want so that's roughly our uh, image done okay uh what we're going to do now is we're going to we're going to make the text for it um so text works like everything else when you put it in it makes a new layer so if we go to text tool here okay so remember hold down you get different options we want to use a horizontal text tool so we click and drag a little box this is where we're going to do our typing okay remember up the top i said uh this menu changes depending on what tool you're in when you're in your text tool you get your options uh, same options you get Microsoft Word like what your text is uh, what size it is where it's aligned color um, if for some reason you come out of your text like don't worry it's still there the way you edit the text there is you double click on the T and it'll open up that box for you in so a big common mistake is people just keep putting text in like loads and loads of text layers and this whole layers pile fills up loads um, don't worry you can you can always delete them like a normal layer double click on them to edit them Okay, so we want to change our color. Um, so you can do it up here in the menu bar. Just click on this little box. Um, we're gonna go with like a red. So I've gone with. If you just want to just copy and paste this, and uh, or sorry, you just want to type it in E one one three one three as the number. So all colors have a number that corresponds to them. Um, we're gonna start by typing paranormal. All caps. So for the font, I'm using OCRA extended. Uh, all the computers should have it. If not, uh, we can just have a browse around, and we'll try and uh, we'll try and find one that suits. Okay. Uh, size we want to use 
around a 60. I think around 60 will do, yeah. Okay, as soon as I put that in, you'll notice our half tone pattern. And this is why I got you to make the half tone pattern really big. It's it's working all over the screen. Okay. Um, so that's going through on their text as well. If we put our text above that layer, it doesn't look as nice. Okay, so you want to keep that underneath your half tone. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to put in another text layer underneath. So position this over here a bit. Paranormal there, yep. Yeah. Um, we want to do the same again. So grab your text tool, click and drag, and all your settings should be roughly the same. So 60 is your font size, OCRA extended is your font. We want to use the same red color um, and then spell out activity. So do it all in capitals. Okay, and you can tweak these, remember using your arrow keys. I'm just using the move tool. I'm very conscious that knowing my spelling, I'll probably spell something wrong. Okay, so that's it done. Um, it looks a bit plain, it looks a wee bit boring. Uh, so we're going to try and spice it up a little bit more and make it a bit more interesting. So on the original poster, there's actually, um, they've got a bit of a blur underneath it. So it's a nice, quick way we can do that. What I want you to do is come to your layer, layers palette. I want you to click on activity, hold down control on your keyboard, and then click on paranormal. So we've actually selected both of these layers. What we're going to do is I want you to click and drag them onto the new layer button. Okay? All the way to doing it is you can right click and go duplicate layers. So we just made a copy. So with these two selected, you want to go control and E. And that's going to flatten them. Okay, so I'll do that again just in case um, I went through it a bit too fast. So I'm just going to go backwards. Okay, so click on activity, hold on control, click on paranormal. So we've got two layers selected. We want to click and drag those onto the new layer button and then let go. And that's duplicated them for us. And then we want to use uh, an operation that's commanded E. The long way of doing it is if you go layer and merge layers, okay. So it's control and E and then I'll squish the two of them together. Okay, so we call this layer blur. Now once you squish uh, some text together you can't edit it, okay? So we've got our layers uh, done. I want to set them underneath that writing, so just click and drag them down the layers palette and then let go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do another filter on these, so we go filter blur and motion blur okay right I uh, get this little box right, so there is our original text this is just a little preview box you're asked for an angle I'm gonna leave it at zero for the time being uh, I'm just gonna turn up the distance so turn it up there around 112 okay and then hit okay and you should notice straight away now we've got a bit more of a blur around the text, okay. So it's looking a bit more distorted. Um, and th I mean that's simple. We, we had the text already. All we've done is just slap a blur on it. Okay, so we're using what we've already got. What you can do is, if you want, you can duplicate that again, um, and put another blur on it. So filter blur, motion blur, and this time we're going to crank it way up. So five hundred and twenty-seven. And put that underneath. Okay. Um, so what we'll do is on that second one we'll go edit transform and we're gonna scale it. It's just so it's a bit bigger. And then we're gonna turn down the opacity. So at the minute blur copy. We'll call it lower blur. Um it's looking pretty high, so it's going to turn it down to around 50. Okay. If you ever want to see what your different layers are doing, you can toggle on off these little eyes. So there's our original text. We put one blur on it, gives that effect. And then we blurred, copy that, and then blurred it again to give us that effect. It's just a bit more interesting looking. It's a bit more similar to the original poster. Okay. 
Right. So what we gotta do next is we gotta add another text. <coughs> so on top of the um, clicking your activity layer, when you grab your text tool again, uh, we're gonna click and drag a box. Okay. Now I'm just I'm gonna be a bit lazy and I'm just gonna do this in the same font that I've been using. So color, we want white. We want to change the font size. They run probably 18. I bear in mind I'm winging this, so I might get this wrong. Um, so the line is what happens uh, when you sleep. And then question mark. Now th it's all caps as well in the original poster. So right, it's far too small. So remember, edit your text. Double click on it. Uh, we can maybe jack that up to 24. It probably goes high as 30. A bit higher than that, 36. Yeah. So we're going to do 36. Right. It doesn't look right. It's sitting in the wrong place. Um, so what we can do is we'll just drag it on top of the half tone pattern. So we want that to be fairly clear. Uh, and then maybe, maybe I've gone a bit too big here. So we can turn it down to 